LastPass's Azure Skim integration provides a one-way sync of users and groups already in your Azure Active Directory. This automated user provisioning method will save you time in the long run rather than maintaining your users manually through the LastPass admin console. To get started, you'll need an active premium subscription with Microsoft Azure AD, a LastPass business or identity trial or active account, and admin access to LastPass. We'd also recommend opening your favorite text editor application to help copy and paste and for tracking. Once confirmed that you have those prerequisites in order, navigate to the LastPass admin console. Click on Users, Directories, and select Azure AD. Use the copy link next to the URL and paste this URL into your text editor. Then click Create Provisioning Token to generate a unique string. We'll use this token later, so let's paste it in the text editor as well. These are the only two fields from LastPass that we need to configure the Azure Skim integration. The other steps take place in the Azure AD portal. Navigate to the Azure AD portal by going to portal.azure.com. You'll likely end up on a general dashboard, so find Azure Active Directory under Azure Services. In the left navigation menu of Azure AD, under Manage, select Enterprise Applications. We'll be adding a new one, so click on New Application. We'll be automatically taken to a screen which displays a gallery of options, but let's select Create Your Own Application. Give this application a name. Leave the Integrate Any Other Application option selected and click Create. Azure will add our custom LastPass provisioning application and load the application overview screen. In the left menu under Manage, select Provisioning and then click Get Started. Use the drop down menu to select Automatic as the provisioning mode. For these two fields that Azure is displaying, open your text editor. Copy the URL and paste it in the Tenant URL field, and for the Secret Token field, paste the LastPass provisioning token. Be cautious not to reset this token in LastPass once you've successfully integrated to Azure Skim, since this can break automated provisioning. Back in the Provisioning section, click Test Connection. If a success notification appears on the top right, proceed to Save the Provisioning fields. Next, open the Mappings Accordion menu and select Provision Azure Active Directory Users. Many Azure AD attributes will populate on this list. LastPass needs four, although I recommend using a fifth. These attributes are ID, Active, Username, External ID, and Display Name. We will delete all other attributes for the LastPass provisioning app. Check the box for Show Advanced Options, and then click Edit Attribute List for Custom App SSO. For the required column, ensure that ID, Username, and External ID are checked. For the Primary Key column, ensure that the box for ID is checked. If any of these attributes aren't listed in this mapping section, you can create the attribute using the final row. If you're adding it manually, just make sure your letter capitalization matches. When all the attribute mappings match, click Save and Yes. A successful save will reroute us back to the attribute mapping page. If it fails to save, this is because Azure AD sometimes fails if too many attributes are deleted at once. You can delete the advanced options attributes in smaller batches before saving. Let's get back on the attribute mapping screen. As a sidebar, under the Custom App SSO Attribute column, you'll see the Active Attribute. This is what tells LastPass whether a user should be enabled or disabled. Later, we'll be assigning our Azure AD users to the LastPass app. If a user in Azure AD is active, but not active in LastPass, LastPass will automatically provision a new LastPass account. Similarly, a disabled Azure AD user who is synced to the LastPass provisioning app will disable the already created LastPass user. 
circling back to the task at hand, we'll need the external ID attribute to have a precedence of 1. Just trust us on this one. To do so, ensure that no other attribute has a precedence of 1 by selecting it, locating the matching precedent field in the right-hand side tab, setting its value to 2, and clicking OK. Then select the external ID attribute, set Yes under Match Objects using this attribute, set the matching precedence to 1, and click OK. When the precedence has been set, click Save on the top left. This marks the end of our user attribute mapping. Next, we need to assign our users and groups. Let's click on Provision Azure Active Directory Groups, like we did with the user mappings. Check the box for Show Advanced Options, and then Edit Attribute List for Custom App SSO. In this attribute list, for ID, leave the boxes for Primary Key and Required checked, for external ID, check only required. With display name, mark required as well. And finally, for members, let's give this a multi-value. By default, there should be two values. If not, type them out exactly how they appear on your screen. When these attributes are set, let's save our work. Just like before, we're going to need to set the external ID attribute to have a precedence of 1. All others should be either null or 2. If we don't do this, then provisioning could fail. Save and say yes to the changes. Although we're almost done, don't skip this step. We haven't assigned any users to the LastPass provisioning app yet. Go back to provisioning using Azure's Pathway menu. Open the Settings accordion. Under Scope, use the drop-down to select Sync Only Assigned Users and Groups. Now, let's turn on Provisioning and Save. We'll need to select these users and groups now. You may need to go all the way back to your Azure dashboard, select Enterprise Applications, and click on your LastPass provisioning app. Under Manage, click on Users and Groups and select Add User or Group. You can sync with your existing Azure AD groups for the most scalable automation, or you can just as easily add individual users, which is what I'll do in my test instance in this left-hand side tab. Don't forget to click Select and then Assign on the lower left. Azure syncs with LastPass once every 40 minutes, so expect to see any changes you make in Azure AD to reflect within that period. You can always reference our online Azure Skim Guide on the LastPass support site, or download our full PDF guide from the support site as well. To troubleshoot any issues, we recommend starting from the top of either guide and walking through each step until the culprit is found. If you find that no users or groups are syncing after an hour or so, you might have forgotten to assign anyone. Sometimes we find that removing users from the LastPass provisioning app and then re-adding them will nudge Azure to try again in the next 40 minute cycle. If you continue to hit any snags, you can use the appropriate contact support option found on the LastPass admin dashboard. We hope you found this video guide helpful and that you enjoy the benefits of automated user lifecycle management using Azure Active Directory.